When I scroll through social media, I see a reflection of what my Polish mom showed me with movies, museums, and stories about the categories of humans they labeled as inferior and worthy of being sent to laboratories and gas chambers. The oppressor searching for faster ways to get rid of the remainder, the piercing silence of so many cowards who are more concerned about money and power than the planned extermination of human beings. But this time there is no unseeing nefarious monster slaughtering Palestinians fully funded by our tax dollars, even though the world has spoken. Israel is a settler colony which is illegal under international law because it aims to annihilate an indigenous population with displacement, murder, and starvation, which is also classified as genocide. And these war crimes are live on our screams. While Genocide Joe tries to muffle their screams, but we will not stop going to the extreme to ensure that our leaders hear those cries in their waking lives and in their dreams. For Palestinians are deeply rooted to their land like the olive trees that they risk their lives to defend. Just as the prickly pear cactus can thrive in any place, Palestinians find joy despite being displaced. The poppies still bloom as bright as the blood of the martyrs, and the watermelon resists as the fight for freedom is called terrorism. But Palestine will enter another time when the stolen orange trees are returned to a now booming economy. From the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, Palestine will be free and prospering. Yeah, but I want you to realize the amount of suffering people go through here in Gaza. No amount of videos, pictures, texts can tell you how much we're actually suffering. Share so more people know this.